It's as you say, because obviously Starboard's not going anywhere. And I was dis- it was disconcerting to read in their letter that they said, uh, to date, the board has refused our attempts to work together and we appear to be at an impasse when at the same time you have called the dialogue constructive in your last letter. So, I mean, what, you know, it's kind of he said, she said, they, they don't regard as constructive and you do. I would rather see, because I like you and I like Starboard. I like the, I know it sounds a little, a little silly, but I'd like everybody to get along. I would love to see some sort of compromise. Is there anything you can do to make this work? Because I, mean, I don't see anybody here as a bad guy, so to speak. Yeah. Well, and, and I think, you know, from our, our relationship over the years, um, we are very collaborative in nature, especially with shareholders. Uh, in fact, in, uh, in Starboard's own uh, proxy filing, you can see dozens and dozens of interactions uh, that we've had with, with Starboard over the past couple of years. So uh, we have tried to spend uh, an incredible amount of time ensuring that Starboard understands our strategy, uh, that we're hearing their feedback, that we're taking their perspective into account. In fact, last year, as a part of a settlement that we uh, that we had with them, we added two board members uh, that they approved as a part of that settlement. So uh, we felt like they've helped, um, you know, uh, continue to to evolve the board's governance and independence uh, over time. But uh, it looks like maybe they didn't um, ultimately agree with with some of the board's approaches, and that's their prerogative. Uh, but we fundamentally, as a board, uh, believe that we have the right path forward. You've seen it in our shareholder return returns. Uh, we're one of the fastest growing stocks of this year. Um, and um, and up about 40 percent uh, year to date. So we believe that the current path that we're on uh, is the right path. Uh, and, you know, we have seven new board members just in the past couple of years. Right. So we don't believe that further board change is warranted. Um, and we believe that there's, again, a significant amount of upside left in the business based on the plan that we're executing. So okay. we're incredibly excited about the path forward. Uh, I've talked I've talked with many, many shareholders uh, that are really excited about Box's path forward, um, and, uh, and and we are um, uh, we're very focused on executing right, that well. plan. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.